oh, 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 oh. Everybody say
it is nothing. Like to the glory of to to the glory of God, I'm a degree holder and also presently working towards my master's program. And that is not enough because I know that God has a plan for me beyond the mere certificate. It is just that one is just an ordinary part. This that's just an earthly part, and it ends on it. But your purpose, which God has created you for, lasts forever. And the last part of it is fulfillment. When you are when you align with God, you identify your purpose and you begin to walk in it, then you can have fulfillment. You know, a lot of men of God, a lot of even a lot of youths are living a life without fulfillment. There's one thing to identify your purpose, and there's another thing not to be fulfilled in your purpose. When you align with Christ, you identify your purpose. Another thing is to live in the fulfillment. And living in the fulfillment is to stick continually with Christ Jesus. A lot of people will say, I've accepted Christ. I'm with Christ. But are you still in Christ? Are you still in the Word? Or have you been crucified in Christ? The book of um, Galatians 2.20 says, said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. But the life I live, I live now in Christ Jesus. Are we still living a life in Christ Jesus? Or we are living a life outside Christ? Because if you continually live in Christ, after accepting Christ, you need to what? Continually live in Christ. Continually stick with Christ. And when you continually live in Christ, and that is when you can be able to work according to God's purpose. That is when you can be able to have fulfillment in life. So, accepting Christ, aligning ourselves with Christ, identifying our purpose, and beginning to work in that purpose, and at the end of everything, to have fulfillment is what God has plans for us. He said, we are His work once created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which He has ordained us. He has ordained us, He knows us, and that we should work in them. So if you continually work in Christ, then that is only when we can have fulfillment. That is only when we can be fulfilled in life. I just want to encourage us, all the teenagers, all you, even we, the adults, that we should please try as much as possible to align ourselves with Christ. Identify our purpose. If you have not identified your purpose, pray to God. Cry to Him. Let Him show you the direction, what He has really ordained you for. And another thing is to walk in it so that you can have fulfillment in life. And I pray as we do that, the Lord will continually be with us in Jesus' name. And we will live to fulfill our destiny and fulfill our purpose in life in Jesus' name. I'm so grateful for the time for listening. And I pray that we will continually walk in Christ as a workmanship of Christ in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you. Oh, my God.